Hello and welcome to the National Driving Centre. My name is Paul McIntyre and I'm one of the instructors for NDC. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the DVSA practical reversing exercise. Uh, normally, towards the second part of the exercise throughout the test, so we'll have the show me, tell me questions, the reversing exercise, and then the drive. So first of all, before we go outside and talk about the practical side of this exercise, we're just going to do a little bit of theory inside just to explain what's going on and how this is going to work. So if we come over to the whiteboard now, I'm just going to talk through. So first of all, they're going to show you um, a picture of this reversing exercise and I'll put that here and this is what they're going to show you before the exercise okay but we're just going to talk through this reversing exercise in a practical means so first of all um, this square we'll see outside in a little bit and the instructors will talk you through it but this is a bird's eye view of the reversing exercise so our vehicle will be in the start position and this will already be here before we start. So this is the start position. So we've got two outer yellow lines, our left line and our right line. Um, with these yellow lines, bodywork can go over the yellow line, but tires cannot cross, okay? And we'll explain that outside. And then we've got a number of cones. Now, three of these cones have sticks in them and uh, the other four don't. So as we look at them, and again, I'll, we'll see these outside, we've got our lonely B cone, the one on its own, the lonely B cone. And that one's here, and that's got a stick in it. And then we've got our top two A cones. So we've got the A cone and A1. And these are cones up in the distance. Um, and then we've got our garage cones, okay? So our left-hand garage cone and our right-hand right -hand garage cone, and then the two cones dictating our bay. So the object of the game that we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be driving our vehicle forward on the right hand side of the B cone, we're gonna head up to our A cones, and then we're gonna stop, handbrake on, and relax. Then we're gonna put our vehicle into reverse, and we're gonna bring our vehicle on the left hand side of the lonely B cone, and we're gonna bring our vehicle into the garage, okay, making sure the most extreme rear of the vehicle enters the yellow box or the black line, and uh, making sure that we don't hit the barrier, which we'll show you outside. Okay, so breaking this down into a little bit of stages here just to make life easy for ourselves. If we do it step by step, it's a lot easier. If we think, well, I need to get the vehicle here and put it here, that's a, that's a big old task. That's a big old uh, bit of information to take in. So let's break it down into stages and we'll do one stage at a time. As I said, we'll do this outside um, practically in a sec. So first of all, the start position which is gonna be here. As we drive forward, the examiner's gonna to say to you, we're gonna bring the vehicle in between the two cones. No, okay, it doesn't work, it doesn't help. We're gonna bring the vehicle up to the two cones, but we're gonna try and keep our vehicle over to the left-hand side, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. So as we drive forward, we wanna try and get ourselves nice and close to that B cone. The closer we are, the easier this will be. The mistake people make here is they try and drive forward and try and go round the B cone. So now, as you can see, the vehicle would already be upset before we've even got there. We wanna try and keep it nice and straight. So what we're trying to do here is get our vehicle nice and close to that B cone, and then it's just a straight line up to our A cones. And then we can stop and put the handbrake on. So we wanna go up to the A cones without passing through. When you do this test for real, for your driving test, the examiner's gonna be stood outside, there he is, look, with his clipboard. He's gonna be stood outside of the vehicle, okay? It'll just be you on your own for this exercise, okay? So as he looks at the vehicle, he wants to be able to see the A1 cone and the B cone. If the vehicle is slightly over to the left and he can't see this, he'll tell you to go back and reapproach. okay? So we're trying to, go, trying to get a little an imaginary line here that we don't go past that, okay? So this is our prime location. This will be a lovely place to start. So now we're gonna put the vehicle into reverse and we're gonna get moving. So once that vehicle goes into reverse, what we don't wanna do is what we call dry steering, okay? What dry steering is, is turning the steering wheel 
without the wheels rolling. If you think about the weights that could be on that front axle, whether we're category C1, D1, D or C, there can be some heavy weight. So if we're dry steering, we can be ripping up concrete and damaging the ground underneath us or damaging our tires. So once we've got that vehicle rolling, only then do we start steering. Now with this exercise, you can steer any way you want. It does not have to be a push and pull. We can palm it, cross your arms, anything you want, okay? So as we start to go backwards now, we're then gonna steer the vehicle, okay? Now that's the reason we've left this big gap here, okay? Like the examiner said, he said, pull up in between the two cones. Well, if we do that, and then we make that steer, you can see the vehicle could potentially go over the line right from the start. So what we're gonna do is keep it nicely over to the left, and then as we put on the steering, we can then keep that vehicle well away from those lines, okay? As we start to make our way back, lots of right-hand mirrors, making sure we're not crossing that line. Remember, bodywork could go over, but tires cannot cross. So if you think about the bus going round here, you could think maybe the tires could be over, uh, could be close to that line, but the bodywork is well over the line. It's absolutely fine. Okay, same for those extensions on your category C. All right. Once we start to go back there, you'll then see your B cone in your mirror. Fantastic. You're halfway there, and then we'll keep steering until we can see two cones with sticks in our right mirror, one stick in our left mirror. This is a golden, golden rule. This is a real helpful guide, this. As long as you can see two in the right, one in the left, you're not gonna hit anything. But imagine that vehicle looked like that. In your right mirror, you could see that cone. In your left mirror, you could see that cone. But you can't see that cone. Therefore, you're gonna hit it. So as long as we can see two cones with sticks in our right, one cone in our left, you know you're just heading straight back into that bay. So you know you're gonna do it well, okay? As we then start to head back into our bay, once that vehicle gets close to the bay, we're then gonna to need to make that second turn to get ourselves nice and straight. So a little bit of a, a, a turn to then bring ourselves into that bay, okay? Then we're gonna be looking for our marker. So once that vehicle is straight, we're looking for our marker and we'll show you that when you arrive on course, okay? Taking it nice and slow. For this exercise, we wanna be nice and slow. So you wanna be nice and steady. There's no time limit on this exercise. Nice and slow, nice and steady. As we said, you can steer any way you want. We don't have to wear our seat belt because obviously, you know, we wanna be using lots of room here, okay? So as we're going backwards, what if it all goes wrong? What if suddenly we get a little bit close to a cone or a little bit close to the line? Well, in that scenario, we can pull forward. We can do that twice throughout the exercise. The examiner will call it a shunt and we can take two shunts. So let's imagine we are heading back into our bay and suddenly we just get a little bit close to one of the cones. What we can do is stop, put the vehicle into first gear. We could then pull forward, get ourselves lovely in a straight line, and then it's just a straight line back into the bay, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, okay? But you've got your two shunts. But the primary thing here is stop before you hit the cone or before you cross the line, okay? This is why observation throughout this maneuver is so critical. Take your time and keep working those mirrors. Remember, both mirrors at all times. Don't get hypnotized by the one mirror. So now we've gone through that theory side of things, let's go outside and actually do this in a practical means. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pass you over to our NDC instructor and let's go outside and do this practically. Hi, I'm Andy here at NDC. You may remember me from such instructional videos as the uh, CPC Module 4 for the Category C vehicle. Okay, what we're gonna talk about today is the reverse exercise, and we're gonna expand on what Paul spoke about in the classroom. What we're gonna use for this is the Category C1 vehicle. Okay, really important for all you paramedics out there. Brief outline of what we're gonna do. Vehicle's in its start position. Okay, we're going to drive up past cone B, up to cones A and A1. We have to make sure that we're in between the cones, okay, and not gone through them. I'll show you that in a bit. We're, from there, we're going to reverse into our bay, okay. We need to make sure that we don't cross the yellow line on the right or the yellow line on the left, and make sure we don't hit any of our cones. Once we get in the bay, the back of the vehicle on this, it's the uh, tailgate, has to be in the chevroned area behind the black line and make sure we don't hit that barrier. Okay, so moving on from what I've just explained about, okay, so you'll come around with the examiner, 
You'll enter the vehicle, the examiner will be stood at the front at cones A and A1, okay, and he'll give you a thumbs up. Okay, what I'm going to do now is demonstrate what we're going to be required to do during that reverse. Okay, so from the start point here, we're going to drive up to cones A and A1 initially. So remembering to check all your mirrors, all your blind spots, then move off. Remember, keep it nice and slow. On these manual vehicles, really important to uh, learn your clutch control. You want to keep it nice and slow, nice and steady. As you go past cone B there, move it over to the left slightly, keeping cone B in your mirror. As you approach A and A1, straighten the vehicle up. Move up until the front of the vehicle is up to the cones. When you get there, handbrake neutral. Okay, so again, as I've said, we're at cones A and A1. We're now gonna reverse into the bay, okay? Again, keep it nice and slow, work on that clutch control. So remember to check in your mirrors, put it into gear, mirror, mirror, blind spot, and brake off, and we're gonna move back. As you go back, get that lock on, get your wheels right up to the yellow line. Remember, don't go over it, just keep it parallel. Keep it there, keep it there, keep it there. Quick check of your mirrors now and again, just to make sure you're on track. And as you come round, what you wanna see are four cones in the right mirror. That's two with poles, two without and then you're gonna see one in the left mirror, okay, with the pole. When you see that, straighten up as the back of the vehicle enters the, uh, the bay on the right, start to turn in. Keeping it fairly close, keep an eye on that cone on the right, keep it fairly close, then get a full lock on to bring you around nicely. Checking the mirrors at all times. Once you're in the bay and you're straight, so look ahead, look in your mirrors, Straighten the wheel up, and then what we're going to do, we're going to head back, and we're going to put a little marker on the black line. Once we get there, we'll stop the vehicle, handbrake, neutral. Now what we need to do is get out of the vehicle and check to make sure that we're actually in the bay. Go. So remember, on exiting the vehicle, three points of contact. This is slightly harder than the Category C if we haven't got a handrail or anything. Okay, now we're out of the vehicle. We're gonna to walk to the back just to make sure that our tailgate is across that black line and we haven't hit the barrier. You can see there, we're nicely slap bang in the middle perfect even if I do say so myself. So thanks very much for watching we hope this video has been helpful um, we've just run through a couple of hints and tips there uh, to help you get into the bay um, so just to recap um, hints and tips please Andy. Uh, make sure you always get out and check when you're in that bay make sure the back of the vehicle is in the bay properly. Remember you are allowed two shunts don't be frightened to use them. When we're doing this reverse we always say about keeping an eye on the cones if you can't see the cones there behind you you're gonna hit them. So thanks very much for watching. Um, if you've liked this video, please hit that subscribe button and uh, good luck and stay safe.